Hey everyone, it's Kathleen. I wanted to take a minute to talk you through the binders that you may be received or will be receiving very soon so that you have some idea of the direction we're going with this group. So here is a copy of what you're receiving. Um, and this has been my favorite quote this year. Focus on each step, win the day. So don't focus on the length of the journey. Focus on each step. Um, so that's kind of the theme for us. It's not about the big, huge, overwhelming thing. It's about segmenting it, making it into smaller pieces so that we can have small victories along the way and stick with it instead of get discouraged because the, the goal is too big. Um, so when you open up your binder, the first thing is this little baggie that has um, a couple of magnets for you. And it also has two little sticky guys so that you can stick something on your wall that we'll get to in a second. And it also has a pen. Um, and then... On the left hand side is the meal plan and we're going to be walking through that this week and we're going to be talking about why this is important and how to fill it out and what things to put in there so try not to be discouraged and I'm going to walk you through the whole thing if you've already seen something like this maybe it's something that's helpful to you if not you can help um, help me help you figure out what would be helpful but we're going to walk through that together so this I intend for you to put on your refrigerator and that's what the magnets are for and then the very first Next page is the calendar for the month of May, and this is what I want you to use those little sticky round, um, they're like little sticky tapes, and I want you to stick this somewhere that you'll see it every day. So for me, when I did this, it was in my bathroom, um, actually on the wall right outside my bathroom, um, and this is where we're going to track how much you're exercising. So again, not to make it a huge goal, maybe for you that's two times a week or three times a week or whatever, but it helps so very much to have something visual right there that you can check off, yep, I did it, um, or you can circle them and make them the goals, that the days that you want to do it, and then check off when you actually have done it. Whatever works for you, maybe you want to buy some gold stars, I don't know, but anyway, that's what this one is. Um, and then the very next section is the part that we're going to focus on this week, which is clean eating. So in there, you'll find that there are the five um, basic clean eating principles, and we're going to walk through those this week. Don't get overwhelmed. We'll take them one at a time, and it'll be um, hopefully some little things that you can start changing that will make a huge difference in your life. Um, it, I know it did for me, and that's why the, these are the, the principles that I feel are the most important um, as I've made changes. The next page is the grocery list, so it's just an idea to give you a start for what clean eating might look like at the grocery store. And you may actually want to just go through um, and check off things that you already know you like. So hopefully you don't get incredibly discouraged by this whole clean eating idea. Some people don't have a clue what that means. Um, I didn't. Again, we'll talk through it this week. But I'm talking about this paper where you can just, just take a look at the things that you, I think you might be surprised at the things you're already eating that are considered clean, which means not processed and doesn't have a ton of extra ingredients in it. The next one is clean eating snack ideas. And snacks are a big one. They were for me because, well, as we talk about this week, um, they're a huge part of clean eating and they're a huge part of what can really help make big differences in our lives, how we feel, um, how our bodies look. And um, so there's some specific ideas, and we'll again talk more about this week. The next section is about Shakeology, so something that you've all invested in to be a part of this group, something I hugely, wholeheartedly believe in because it's made such a difference in my life. Um, and in that section, you'll find some recipes for um, chocolate Shakeology on one side and vanilla on the other. If any of you in here have ordered strawberry or greenberry, um, please let me know, and I'll post um, recipes for those ones in the group as well. Um, as far as I know, that wasn't the case with this group, but I might be wrong, and I'd be more than happy to get your recipes for those ones, too. Then I included some pages about why Shakeology is amazing, and we'll talk more about that in the group, but you can read up about that. And then finally, some misconceptions about Shakeology, some things that people think um, Shakeology is, or when they make comparisons to other things, and just um, some eye-opening things about, um, about Shakeology. Then the third section, um, maybe the one that you'll like the most, I'm not sure, but something that I coveted when I first got started was just some clean eating recipes that will really um, hopefully help you get an idea of what's involved with those and just give you some straightforward things that you can start today. Um, maybe when you plan your meals out for this week, you can maybe try one, try two. And they're meant to be interactive, which is why I'm giving them to you on paper. So if you see that and you're like, okay, I can handle that and that, but that doesn't look good to me, just cross it off and do whatever you want with it. 
or if you're like, oh, that sounds good, but I would personally add this, then go for it. Um, these are yours to play with, so do whatever you want with those. Write on those um, and tell us in the group things that you liked or things that you would change. Okay, then these last two sections um, I think are the most meaningful sections. Um, they're not the ones that are like the practical exercise and um, nutrition, but these are the ones that um, I think could help most mentally and emotionally, which is, you know, really the, the biggest part of change, making changes. So this first one we're calling moments of truth. And I want to slow myself down a little bit because I think that this is so, so important. So basically the idea is that in our society today, instant gratification is everything. And basically what I mean is that we are so driven by immediate results and immediate change and immediate gratification that sometimes making the bigger changes is really difficult because here's the secret about this whole thing. When we decide to do something, when we come, it comes down to that very moment of, for example, should I have the piece of cake or shouldn't I? In that very moment, the instant gratification is if I eat it, guess what? I will receive instant gratification. It tastes good. But if I don't eat it, what do I get? We know that's the better choice in the long run. But what do you get for not eating it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Because these changes are changes that are small, but they're compounded over time. So not eating cake, as you know, won't make you skinny tomorrow. It won't make you drop five pounds in that moment. And conversely, if you ate that piece of cake, it wouldn't make you gain five pounds right in that moment. It wouldn't make you keel over from a heart attack right in that moment. But it would taste good, and that could give you a little instant gratification. But it's those moments of choice, and I'm calling them moments of truth, where we make the, the right decision, the one that we know will be the one that will give us lasting effects in the positive, um, but that we get zero instant gratification for those. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can create this little... Um, pathway for moments of truth where we um, write down a few of those moments that happen for us. Maybe you are at a birthday party and you opt out of the cake or maybe you are it, it's in the morning time and you, that's when you plan to do your workout and you're tired and you want to hit the snooze button but you opt not to do that and you opt to get out of bed and get your workout in. Or maybe it's um, in the moments where you're um, trying to get something together for your family and you think Gosh, that frozen pizza would be so easy, but you opt out of that and you do something else that's healthy and you put something together. Those moments of truth we want to keep track of because those are hugely important, even though in the moment it may not seem like it's the most important thing. And we'll talk more and more about that as we go as well. And then um, the last section is the I am worth it section. And um, this is something that I started doing kind of recently. Because sometimes we get so far focused on um, negative things, and I just thought maybe there's a way to kind of shift my focus, particularly for me at nighttime, as I'm getting winding myself down, that we are good. We, and what we do is good, and we are good people, right? So what I want you to do is think of three roles in your life that you want to focus on. Now, for me, that might be a mom, a wife, and a coach. For somebody else, it might be... Um, a sister, um, a teacher, and um, a friend, or something like that. So whatever it is, pick your three roles that mean something to you. And we're going to write them down. And then each night, what I want you to do is just write one or two little things. It might be little words. It might be little sentences. The space isn't big. This isn't meant to be a huge journaling, overwhelming project. It's just meant to be something small to keep you on track with thinking something positive, especially before bed. So maybe you might say, how was I a good mom today? And I might say, I got everybody where they needed to be on time. <laughs> and that's the good thing about me for being a mom today. Or how was I a good wife today? I got dinner on the table. <laughs> maybe it's something bigger than that. Or maybe it's something really tiny. I listened to my husband today when he needed a good ear. Or maybe it's something like um, I you know, whatever, got a special present, or I was um, a volunteer at school today, or whatever it is for you. It doesn't have to be huge. Just want it to be some positive way to help you start thinking that, hey, you are worth it, and you are worth doing this challenge and being a part of this group. Um, then the last little things that are not part of the sections, I just 
I printed out some extra meal plans. I printed out a blank grocery list for when you do your shopping and hopefully it will help get you organized. I know it's something that I really need when I go shopping. And then tucked into the last, um, the last little, what do I want to say, <laughs> the, the back page sleeve. There we go. Tucked into the last sleeve is the measurement tracker. This is hugely important, not because it's meant to make anybody feel bad or whatever, but it's because I've had so many people go through groups that regret not doing something like this because they have had huge changes, but they didn't track it. And then they don't know. And then they say, oh, I wish I would have done something at the beginning. And this, I want this to be for you. So this is a measurement tracker. And I'll post in the group some videos about how to make sure you're doing it correctly so that you do it in the same place at the beginning and the same place at the end. Um, and I'd also encourage you to take some pictures. I know it can be very hard. I've done it myself. I know it doesn't feel great. I'm not asking you to post anything to the group. I'm just asking you to do it for yourself, tuck it back in that sleeve, and we'll get it out at the end and see how far you've come. So that's kind of the end of our binder um, video, and we'll talk more in the group. I'm so excited that you're here, and I'm so excited that you're helping me um, with these binders. It's really, really valuable to me, your feedback. So I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.